Hey guys, I'm MK. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Bull Nakano vs Minami Toyota from All Japan Women's Wrestling on the 21st of July 1990. Um, feel free to follow my other channels below on Twitch, PSN, Insta, Twitter. Like, comment and subscribe um, to any suggestions or anything um, that you want me to review. Just let me know. But yeah, I have reacted to Bull Nakano and Manami Toyota matches previously on my channel, um, so feel free to give those a watch. But today I'm going to be reacting to a match I've never seen before, Bull Nakano vs Manami Toyota from 1990. Um, Bull Nakano was most famous for being in the WWF in the 90s and being a women's champion by de defeating Alundra Blaze. And she was also a monster heel back in Japan. She recently has retired and nowadays plays golf. Um, whereas Manami Toyota um, never really went anywhere but Japan. Um, she has done a couple of US tours, but we've never seen her on any like mainstream US TV programming. But she was a huge uh, addition to Japanese women's wrestling back in the 90s. So, um, Born Nakano being a big monster bad guy, the monster heel, and Manami Toyota being the underdog babyface. Um, this can be a really good mash of styles. This is also quite early into their careers. So this is before they both kind of rose to prominence. This is kind of on the rise of Japanese women's wrestling. So um, yeah, without further ado, so when you guys are ready, if you want to roll one up, light one up, and join me for Bull Nakano vs. Minami Toy at AJW, 21st of July, 1990. It's a ring introductions. Okay, so a very young Minami Toyota. It uh, looks like she's in white and pink, which is quite different because I'm used to seeing her always in a black outfit. She might wear black with a little bit of red or a little bit of white, but she predominantly wears black. Quite an interesting change of, well, yeah, an interesting style for Minami. I'd say I'm used to seeing her all black and yeah, she looks rather, rather cute in the pink. She's so young. She must have been about, I think she's only just turning 50 now. That's the thing with Japanese women's wrestlers. They start from a very young age. They used to start from like 15, 16 and it wasn't until like the mid 90s it was very common for women to retire by 26. Most of them uh, retired at 26. It was a traditional thing so that they could go and have families, go and pursue other careers and not obviously live in pain or injury. So these Japanese women, they would have long storied careers, be 10 years pros and by the time they got to 26 they were retiring. Things have changed now but that's how it was back then. Oh, that's metal right there. So you can see she's a reigning WWWA champion. Um, you can see she's got the biggest, bluest hair in the world. She's very hair metal, heavy metal. Yeah, she looks like a badass. Yeah, that belt makes the universal title look, look so crap. It's just so big and regal and... Again, these women were treated like stars, they were treated like royalty. This was, say, whilst in America women's wrestling wasn't a thing, in Japan it was, it was huge. And that makeup's just a sight to behold. Just look at that hair, man. That hair's like two foot in fucking height. She just looks fantastic. Like, really, really committed to the character you... So it's such a contrast from the white and the pink when you got the black, the heavy blue, the heavy makeup. Just complete monster. So it's traditional in Japanese wrestling to have streamers, to have flowers and everything presented before and after the matches. That's why you got the whole ring crew here. It's just, again, it's, it's treated like a sport that is very grand. It's very regal. Again, they're, they're respected as the athletes. They're not just these... TV stars, they're just like, they're like these godlike figures to this Japanese audience. Again, probably the best picture we're going to get of her before it, the hair and everything's all messed up, but that's just such a look. And then, yeah, a young Minami Toyota. She looks so innocent and fresh faced. This is obviously before she became the star that she was, but is this going to be like her star making performance? Is she going to win the title? I can't wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, she twatted her. 100 miles an hour now. Oh, you ain't gonna get off her feet that quick. It's just a monster. The three drop kicks did nothing. <sighs> yes, 
So you see how Manami goes straight in, three drop kicks, does nothing to Ball, fires Ball up and Ball just kills her with a clothesline. This match is not even 30 seconds in. Crowd are hot already. Ball's just too big, too powerful, she's just laughing at Manami. So like, give it everything you got and she's just a brick wall, man. Oh, oh that was stiff. Just having none of it. And you see that look like, what have I got to do to beat this woman? She's literally, she only fought for a minute and like, yeah, nothing she's doing is working. So she's going to have to change up her strategy. She just looks like a beast. Just look, just cool, calm, collected. Just, she was such a star. Test the strength. Oh, she's got her down. So she finally got her down. Looks like she's going to go for a work on the legs. She's laughing it off. He's like, what are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> oh. She's just fucking launching her. Just tying her up. She's playing with her at this point. Crowd's getting behind Toyota. Ball ain't letting go for nothing though. This bull just don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, she just fucking punted her. Oh. That one was in the fucking face. Start was sick. Just look at that talk, man. She's like not relenting at all. She, like, do you know what I mean? That's what I love about the Japanese wrestling. They just, even though obviously we know wrestling is, you know, scripted entertainment, re J the Japanese still treat it like a sport, so they still add a, a layer of realism with it. They still put a little bit of oomph in the slams, they give a little bit of more height in their throws, a little bit harder with their kicks, a little bit of stiffer with their strikes and like the submissions they kind of really put the submissions in they wrench your head back they wrench your leg back where in like america and european it's done obviously so it looks painful but it's probably really safe here it's it looks painful and it probably is extremely painful oh she's gonna fall on her aren't she yeah there's the bridge, the Manami bridge. If you've seen Manami Toyota wrestle, you know she bridges. Is so you gotta get your shoulders up. It's not only is it a kick out, but it's defiance. It's like you're not going to beat me. Ooh, savage! And again, that bridge. Oh, here we go. She finally got her down. Here we go. Look at the speed of that man. Just the speed of that combo, she drop kicked, left, literally got straight back up, cross body, into a two count. This woman is just so quick. Oh, she just dropped her on her fucking head. That was close. Oh, is she going to do the leg drop? Oh, no. What the fuck was that? She just sat on her. Okay, she hits this, this is it. This is it. Here we go. Oh, she missed. Okay. One, two. Okay, that was close. Oh, she missed. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, whatever. She's just taking her up there, whether she likes it or not. Oh, here we go. She can't move for a big girl, can't she? No. Barely. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And again. Oh no. No fucking way. Oh my good god. Two, three. Fucking brutal. That was fucking brutal. She just knocked her head off, dropped her on her head with a powerbomb, one, two, three. That was just a display of dominance. And that was a match. So she's saying something now. Guessing she's saying, I'm the best, no one can beat me. I'm going to kick everyone's ass.
the way, that woman is a monster. That was a fucking banging match. It was just a quick 10 minute affair. Say both women quite early in their careers. We can see Bulls the dominant monster champion. Minami was the underdog given everything she got. But it just wasn't a night. But that was a really good match. I think it's one of the only few times I've ever really faced off one on one. If anyone knows any other times they faced off, please let me know and I'll happily all send me the links to the matches and I'll watch them because I would love to see more from these two. But this was a really good match. As I say, it's just glimpses of what Minami would become and obviously this was the rise of Bull and what we've seen of her a few years later, a bit more polished, but she was just a complete and utter monster. But yeah, that match was really good. Um, it had you know, quick David versus Goliath story, it was speed versus strength, it was experiment, experience versus inexperience, it was just, you know, Manami gave everything she got, it just wasn't her night, Ball was just one step ahead of her, toyed with her, knocked her out, destroyed her, one, two, three, retained her belt, off we go. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one, uh, drop, drop your feedback in the comments below, let me know any other matches you want to see, um, but until then, next time, thank you very much.